I have recently taken AZ104 which is Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator. So I just wanted to share the exam experience. I'll prepare a different video how I have prepared. Uh, so before even going to that, this exam is like uh, it's, it's difficulty level is moderate. It is not easy, as easy as AZ900. It's kind of a uh, moderate difficulty and you need to have at least uh, uh, six to one years of experience in Azure then you should uh, go for this exam reason being like they will possibly ask all the question related to uh, major services of azure so my preparation timings and all i will uh, share in a different video but here i will just uh, take few question and uh, will uh, share my experience so like after uh, giving the exam you will uh, get these types of uh, uh, certificate from microsoft and this will valid for only one year so after one year you need to take a either you need to take retake the examination or there is option to renew your exam by giving uh, a free examination and uh, there would be around 25 question but in this uh, you need not to go for the full full fledged exam so you'll, you'll, you'll get to see this uh, certificate uh, signed by Satya Nadella and then you can see this associate two star and then here it should be your uh, id should be there certificate id and here the your name should be mentioned so purposefully i have removed those information and if you uh, if you if we go to that azure uh, certification dashboard you can uh, you can see the batch you can also share the batch to linkedin so i'll just quickly show you Okay, so you can see like recently I have taken this administ uh, Azure Administrator, but previously I have taken this AZ900 and DP900. So all the three batches are displaying here. Now I'll uh, take a few question uh, regarding my exam experience and uh, eligibility of AZ104. So the first question normally people ask whether AZ900, which is Azure uh, fundamental, uh, this one basically, Azure uh, fundamental, whether this is required or not. Uh, so this is not required. This is not mandatory. You can directly take AZ104. But the recommendation will be like if you do not have any period experience of Azure certification, you do take this AZ900 exam. Anyway, this exam can be taken as free. So uh, like you know you can attend any of the microsoft uh, training course for maybe two days virtual training drive and they'll provide a free certification a free certification voucher for az 900 so i have created a different video so i'll just uh, give you a link top of this video so you can if you are if you don't know like you can join there and you can go for this az 900 free certification which is basically very easy certification so maybe you need one week of time and maybe a couple of hours of video learning would be fine so uh, so so the idea is like az900 is not mandatory for az104 but if you can take so you'll get idea of how microsoft examination normally works now the next question is exam pattern so exam pattern is uh, proctored now uh, you can take your exam from your home laptop or pc so you should have a good connectivity and uh, you should have a clean desk and uh, mobile pen pencil water bottle nothing is allowed during the exam but you can wear a watch so i think watch is uh, our smart watch if you have that is allowed okay so that's a basically proctor based exam and uh, total question uh, is 62 so this will uh, slightly vary so this may be 59 this may be uh, 63 but for my case it was 62 question and i got like 45 uh, multiple choice or multiple response multiple choice uh, you just need to uh, choice one so that is like you will get a option and while multiple uh, response you need to you will either get a like you know area where you need to drag and drop few of the uh, answers and rearrange it there may be sequence also matter in some cases in some cases you need to just uh, click three or four check boxes so the good part is uh, uh like you know they will tell you like where how many how many numbers of options are correct so if they are expecting that they have given say six option so possibly two options are correct so they will uh, tell you like select two option so you need uh, like you know accidentally when you cannot select more than two so that is a good thing and the next thing is uh, i got like some types of question uh, like possibly eight question where you cannot return 
so they have some set of question uh, like you know they will keep asking some question uh, like if you go through like az 104 study material you can you will come across so that question you you cannot revisit those questions so that kind of question i got i think three set question and total number of question was eight and i got lengthy case study three case study where i have seen like nine question so these 45 uh, question you need to answer first then you need to finish the exam so uh, if you are not finishing it you cannot move to that one so i have a confusion basically since i was taking this uh, one not for first time for 900 you you, you, you you don't have case studies so after finishing this i was looking for the case studies but case study was not there I, then i ping ping proctor he also don't i mean understand who, where, where exactly the case studies is so i uh, click finish after that i get to see these types of question after i finish this section i can finish the case study then i can revisit this uh, multiple choice and case studies but you cannot revisit these eight questions so once you uh, respond and then click on next then your answer will be saved and you cannot further check so there is an option to revisit for this section now one question i i, I get to see like lot of youtube videos they are they, they told lab is uh, mandatory lab is there but for past one and half year i think once the COVID outbreak and they are they went for proctor exam there is no lab so uh, the people who are like uh, giving a wrong information even like lot of uh, youtubers possibly they don't know or they didn't take the latest exam so they are telling lab is there so there is no lab you need not to prepare for the lab but make sure like you you should be in a condition where you you can able to find the latest uh, like you know uh, azure portal you should have a experience now the total timing is 90 minutes so uh, total exam time is uh, 30 minutes period you need to join for the check-in purposes but uh, the time is 90 minutes so 90 minutes 62 so you can see like one minute 30 second uh, bar question so there are a few question where you need to play like you know uh, give lot of time so make sure you uh, planning accordingly so for my case i could able to uh, finish my exam maybe uh, uh, certain around like you know uh, 70 minutes or 72 minutes i have around 15 minutes left out but uh, like if you are a little bit slow reader uh, then it would be a problem so make sure you practice well so that you need to at least finish the exam 90, 90 minutes is like kind of optimal uh, like optimal time uh, for few questions like what i did basically it was taking a lot of time so i just marked the question like yes 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 like i don't know like the answer because i haven't it i uh, marked the yes 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 maybe and then i have revisited because like uh, uh, there is no negative marking so you you, you should uh, definitely try all the questions and uh, if it is taking a lot of time then you just uh, Take any of the answer and go forward and later you can come back and choose the correct answer now the passing marks uh, is like you know is uh, 700 out of uh, thousand so that means like you know you need to target for at least 45 question uh, out of 62 and uh, like you know this uh, this is a weightage basically so it is not that like you know some question you may have uh, like you have like uh, larger number like marks and some question it may have a little uh, mark so this depends on the like difficulties of the question and various factor but your target should be at least uh, correctly answer 45 out of 62 and what next so uh, once you have completed az104 you will definitely get a certification certificate and then uh, like you know you can go for one more exam which is uh, like uh, architect exam so az 305 so 305 uh, you can uh, prepare for 305 and you can take the 305 so for 305 az 104 is mandatory so here definitely you need to pass 104 before appearing to 305 so these two once you done these two it will become uh, microsoft certified solution architect infrastructure so that is like a uh, three star uh, Certification. Here you can see we have, we have two stars for this and for uh, fundamentals AZ900 it is one star certificate and this is a three star certification once you've done both. Earlier it was uh, say 303 and 304, now it is 104 and 305. So that is the overall experience. Uh, it was I would say like it was uh, pretty good and the exam is uh, I mean it's slightly difficult it's it's decent. Uh, you need to prepare at least for a for a month or so 
so that uh, like i will i'll create i definitely created another video but this is my recent exam experience hope it will help to uh, take like az 104 or any other microsoft exam